Lewandowski, or you see Benzema's goal the other day. I don't know if you guys saw that goal the other day with the touch and bang, he hit it. And people think, oh, it's luck or this. It's not luck. You know, these guys are training. You have to train for a striker, for example. If you want to be a good striker, you have to train crossing and finishing almost every day or three times a week, 20, 30 minutes, you know, taking balls from both sides, headers, volleys, running near your posts. You know, maybe have a coach just drop balls for you in the box because sometimes in the box, the ball drops and you have one touch. You can only get a get a shot off or you can dink it back post like that goal we showed earlier for mix, you know. So you have to always train to your mind to, to make sometimes the most effective decision where it's putting the ball in a dangerous spot, shooting it far post without sometimes being able to have a good view of the goal. And so these things come and you have a lot of these moments when you train them. The training ground is your best friend. I think to add to mix point two, when I turn pro, you get less time to train. So it's, it's even more difficult to stay sharp around these things because mm -hmm. you try to decrease that so you're ready to play on a Saturday. And so all that extra work that you're able to do, especially at a young age and as you grow, is, is very important to make sure that, you know, when, when, when the ball drops in the box, you're ready. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, you've, you've shot a ball in that position before, so you're not uncomfortable, you know? And, and it sounds hard, but when you get into the habit of training these things all the time, it becomes a way of life and kind of, just how you are as a player. Yeah, I appreciate that because us as coaches, because we got two, three teams and we're training all these kids and we're trying to get them to pass, trap, move. We're all guilty of it. I've gotten better. I'm sure Tiger could attest. Yeah, we, we don't... Um, everything's good? Yeah. Yeah, we, um, we don't like to always let the players shoot every practice because we got to do all sorts of stuff. And down here, we only have two practices a week, maybe three. Unfortunately, we don't get around to shooting and then we kind of mad on a Saturday or Sunday when the kids can't score. So it seems like from what you guys to tell me, every practice I need to put in there 20 or 30 minutes of some sort of finishing or shooting to get these kids as many reps as possible outside of the kids doing it on their own. So I appreciate that answer, guys.